गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे टू हैव डिस्कस अबाउट हाइड्रोजन मैटिक्स लेक्चर नंबर सेवन प्रॉब्लम ऑन एक्यूमुलेटर सो राइट डाउन प्रॉब्लम ऑन एक्यूमुलेटर व्हाट अ साइज ऑफ एक्यूमुलेटर व्हाट अ साइज ऑफ एक्यूमुलेटर is necessary to supply water size of accumulator is necessary to supply 10000 cm cube of oil what size of accumulator is necessary to supply 10000 cm cube of oil in a hydraulic system of maximum pressure 200 bar what a size of accumulator is necessary to supply 10000 cm cube of oil in a hydraulic system of maximum pressure 200 bar to 100 bar minimum taken N2 as a gas with P recharge pressure. See what a size of accumulator is necessary for 10,000 cm cube of oil in hydraulic system of maximum pressure 200 bar to 100 bar minimum pressure. Take N2 as a gas with P recharge recharge pressure of 80 bar. Find the size of accumulator. Find the size of accumulator for adiabatic condition. For adiabatic condition as well as For isothermal condition, for adiabatic condition, as well as for isothermal conditions. So write down what is given in our problem. Write down first what is given. So write down what is given. So P one equal to eighty bar, P two hundred bar, P three two hundred bar, size of that one.
So see here, yeah, this is piston cylinder, this is fuel, our fuel, then in first cylinder P1 equal to 80 bar, second cylinder P2 equal to 100 bar, P3 equal to 200 bar, in third cylinder. So V2 minus V3, This is given in our problem. So, see, first our target analyze this problem. This is given. So, size of accumulator for adiabatic condition. Size of accumulator for adiabatic condition. Size of Yes, A.
Thank you for us to be to me. This is seventeen point fifty liter. This is V one. Now find out V two. If we equal to, we know from equation one, ten plus V three. So V two equal to twelve point two three H seven liter. So we are between V1, V2, and V3 means size of accumulator. Now size of size of accumulator B. I know size of accumulator. By considering isothermal, by considering isothermal, I consider isothermal compression. P1, V1, P2, V2, P3, V2. I 
from this pool v3 value of v3 100 v2 equal to 200 plus v2 plus 10 so v2 equal to only one unknown here so v2 equal to This is our problem. In this way, we are find out the one with two, with two values. See here, what is the one in this problem that is important? See, analyze the problem part. What is the one in our problem? We have the one. This parameter p1, p2, p3, or the second v1, and we have the v1, v2, v3. Size of accelerator. See, this is given in our problem we know v2 minus v3 equal to 10,000 centimeter cube so convert into liters centimeter cube convert into liters 10 liters after that v2 equal to 10 plus v3 this is also given from this equation we have calculated v2 equal to 10 plus v3 this is equation number 1 now we have find out size of accumulator means the size of accumulator for adiabatic conditions. Adiabatic condition means gamma, our equation is PV raised to gamma is constant. So P1 V1 raised to gamma equal to P2 V2 raised to gamma equal to P3 V3 raised to gamma is constant. Now see AP into V1 raised to gamma. AP into V1 raised to gamma equal to 100 into V2 raised to gamma equal to 200 V3 raised to gamma. This value of P1, P2, P3 from our given data and V1, V2 like that. So for calculation, from this equation, we have taken V2 and V3 for calculation, V2 and V3. So, <coughs> V2 raised to gamma equal to 2 V3 raised to gamma. This is equation number 2. From equation number 1 and 2, equal D is so equal to V2. Put the, put the value of 
when it's roughly 2, then 10 plus V3, 1 raised to 1.4 raised to 1.4 equal to 2 V3 raised to 1.4. From this, we have calculated V3. Now, take V1 and V3, 0.8 to V1 raised to gamma equal to 2, 2 times V3 raised to gamma for calculation. From this, we have calculated V1, 17.50 meter. After that, we have find out V2 from this equation, find out V2, 12.23. So, we are getting V1, V2, V3 for completion. After that, find out signs of accumulator by considering isothermal completion. Isothermal completion. P1, P2, sorry, P1, V1 is constant, this is for isothermal process. So, 18 V1 equal to 100 V2 equal to 200 V3. So, take uh, V2 and V3 for calculation. From this, we have calculated V3. V3 equal to 0.5 V2. So, V3 equal to 0.5. Put the value of V2 from equation number 1. 10 plus V3. We are getting V3 for 10 liter. From this, we have calculated V2 equal to 20 liter. And first V1 and V2, by this calculation, we have calculated V1 equal to 25 liters. In this way, we have found out accumulator size for compression and isothermal process. So, in this way, we have solved this problem. Any doubt, any queries, please ask me on call or WhatsApp. Thank you.